I'm Janet No. And I'm Andrea Dillon. We are a mother-daughter CPA firm serving the United States business community with tax preparation services, tax planning, tax resolution, assurance and audits, and CFO outsourcing and consulting. Thank you for listening to the WOW podcast, Words of Wealth from CPAs of Florida. Learn more at cpasofflorida.com or call us at 239-936-6144. Hello, thank you so much for listening today. Carrying on with my and uh, my series, I guess you would call it, of our most frequently asked questions by our real estate agent clients, so hopefully that's you that's listening, is what is the best way to track my income and my expenses? We get that a lot from, obviously I'm speaking more towards our newer agents right now that are just starting out and they've maybe never had a business before, so they they don't know what to do. They know they gotta track their income, they know they gotta track their expenses, but they don't know how. (laughs) So they ask us for guidance, obviously. There's a few different answers for this. First and foremost, we love QuickBooks. And whoever it is that you're working with, so your CPA, your accountant, your tax pro, whoever is doing that for you, they had better be fluent in QuickBooks, but they are likely fluent in QuickBooks. It's it's fairly cheap. I mean, it is you do have to pay for it. So if you're new enough that hopefully you've got some capital that you can you can shell out that if you're doing QuickBooks online, the 30 bucks or whatever it is right now when you're listening to this a month, but you do have to pay for it, it's not free, but it's very user friendly. You can get lots of training. So whether you're working with, like we offer QuickBooks training so that if someone doesn't, doesn't want to or doesn't need to pay us to do it or they're just not there yet and they can't afford it, we can just do a few hours of training and get them up to speed on it or go to YouTube. <laughs> Google, Google or YouTube, whatever, YouTube search different trainings for how to do different things in QuickBooks. I assure you, you will come up with lots and lots and lots of results. If you use a software that maybe is free, um, like FreshBooks or Wave, there's a reason it's free. So there may not be as many resources available. Your accountant may not be as familiar with it. it may be easier to mess up, whereas QuickBooks, without getting too accounting ease on you, it forces you to do both sides. So for example, if you take money out, not take it out, but you swipe your card, so the money comes out of your business checking account or whatever, your, your, your whatever account you're linking to it, your checking account for your real estate activities, and you pay your MLS fees. QuickBooks makes you do both sides, take it out of the checking account and put it into like class it to um, like an MLS fees or a real estate fees or whatever expense account you wanna call it. So it forces you to do both sides. Some of, I'm not gonna name the specifics of them, but some of the free softwares don't make you do that. They let you do like workarounds and whatnot, which ultimately, messes things up (laughs) so not to say they they are there aren't some other ones that are good so that's fine if that's where you're at and you need to use like a FreshBooks or a wave or something like that that's free great do that do something again we love quickbooks i'm sure your accountant will love quickbooks too there's a reason it's the most frequently used accounting software because they've got it pretty down pat that also means again because it's very widely used there's a lot of resources on it so you can call quickbooks support you can call your accounting or cpa team i'm sure they can help with questions and troubleshooting you can youtube it you can google it lots of ways to get help on when you get stuck and how to do it now if you're brand new or you're not brand new but you're still building your name because we all know it takes some time for i'm in southwest florida so here there are a lot of real estate agents so it takes time to build that so if you're so new that you really are really really watching your every dollar that goes out of that bank account because maybe there's not a ton or not regular money coming in yet so if you're like great that's fine like i want to use quickbooks but i just don't think i need it yet and i just i really don't want to pay for it yet Um, You can use just like Excel, for example. Um, I will caution you this. As you get busier, you'll stop doing it because Excel is fine in the beginning, but you have to stay on top of it more. So for QuickBooks, for example, like it'll download the transactions right from your bank accounts. Like it will tell you that you, there was a transaction on whatever, January 31st, 2021 to 
shell, for example, and you'll just, for whatever, for $27.35, and you'll just have to say, oh yeah, that was gas. And you'll, you'll just either create an account for that, it'll already be there, whatever, and it'll just go to gas. Then on the next day, or the same day, whatever, January 31st, 2021, there was a deposit for $5,700. And you'll say, oh yeah, that was a commission income. You'll put it to an income account. If you're using Excel, it's not gonna download it from your bank account. So you'll have to manually type out all those transactions. Now you don't have to do every single number, not number, every single letter. So like with a description on your bank statement. So if you're comparing your bank statement every month, you're printing that bank statement and you're looking at Excel and you're typing it in so that you don't miss anything, obviously you're gonna shorthand. So you're not gonna type out the entire description that comes across on your bank statement. You're just gonna type Amazon or whatever, um, broker fees or your super security fees. Like you don't have to do the whole description, but you have to do every single transaction. Every one you skip is one you're missing in your accounting and then therefore on your taxes. So for it to work in Excel, you have to type in every single one. So as you get busier in the beginning, that's probably not a huge deal, but as you get busier, you're not going to have time for that. So year one, I don't even want to say year one, while you're starting and until you get that, that base of where you've got lots happening all the time, Excel is perfectly fine. Excel is free. We have lots of agents that use Excel. We have lots of busy agents that use Excel. So that's fine. But the most important thing, whether you're using QuickBooks, whether you're using Excel, whether you're using um, Wave, FreshBooks, we have a couple clients using Realty Zam, which is super cool. So it's it's like an accounting software built just for real estate agents. You do have to pay for it. It's you know it's it's not expensive, but there is a cost, and and it's super cool you have to do it. <laughs> so none of these, short of you paying your accountant or your CPA to do it for you and just saying, hey, I'm too busy, I'm gonna screw this up, can you please do this for me? So short of that option, all of the other options, you still have to have some involvement. Now Excel will take a lot more of your time, QuickBooks, FreshBooks, Wave, whatever, any of those options will take less of your time. Um, if you do the QuickBooks or one of the software routes, just know, of course, up front while you're learning how to use it and you're getting everything set up, it's gonna take more of your time. But once you get everything in and you've got it more streamlined, it will be quicker, it will be much quicker. Um, but nobody, unless you pay them to do it, nobody is magically going to do it for you. I had a client once call me in and say, I'm using QuickBooks and I've got it linked to my bank account, but like nothing is going in because they weren't physically going in, like you still have to go in and tell them, tell QuickBooks, tell FreshBooks, Wave, whatever. Hey, that Amazon purchase, that was whatever, yard signs, Vistaprint, that was business cards. Like you have to tell it that. <laughs> it doesn't just magically know. It'll guess, but it won't actually like put it in your accounting until you say, yes, that's right. Or nope, you know what? When I went to speed, way racetrack that this morning it was coffee that wasn't gas that three dollar charge was not gas like you have to tell it that so my recommendation i know nobody is doing this or the vast majority listening are not doing this but my recommendation so what i would love what i would love is if you would do your accounting every month because realistically if you're trying to make this business i'm assuming i'm talking to new agents now so if you're trying to start off on the right foot and you're trying to make this business a success you can't do that if you don't know where you're at how you know where you're at is not the cash you have in your bank account we see way too many businesses that the owners run their businesses off of how much money they have in their bank account that is not an accurate statement the way you know if you're do what you're doing, what's working, what's not working, how much am I spending on this, where am I at, how much profit do I have, all those things is by doing your accounting. So I would love it if you would do your accounting monthly. So if you're brand new, if you could commit to that, that every single month you sit down and if you do it every month, it won't take long. It might the first couple months, but then you'll you'll get quicker at it. You'll figure it out. You'll it really shouldn't take that long. You have you don't have tons and tons of different types of transactions. You have commission income coming in, maybe some referral fees and whatnot, but for the most part, you've got commission income coming in. You have the same types of expenses over and over going out. So once you get the hang of it, it should go pretty quick. 
You do that every month. Now you know where you're at. I'm not going to talk about this today, but you can have conversations with your CPA or your tax pro about things you should be doing to save money or to meet your goals or to save for retirement or whatever it is that you're trying to reach for. We, speaking from my profession, we can't advise you accurately on hypothetical numbers. You call me and you say, hey, here's where I think I'm at for the year. I'm going to give you a plan based on that. You could be way off because you're not doing your accounting. So in a perfect world, you would do it monthly. If you can't do that, at least do it quarterly. So every three months when the quarter is done, so at some point in three months, make the time to sit down and do your accounting. That will at least give you some inkling of an idea where you're at because you're doing it regularly every single quarter instead of what we see, which is typically our real estate agents, or if they're doing their accounting themselves, they're doing it Um, like the summertime of the next year in prep for their taxes. So like right now, it's it's February of 2021. Um, A lot of the agents won't do their 2020 accounting until July of 2021 because they're trying to get everything. They did an extension for their taxes. They need to file it. And now they're sitting down to do it. That means they have no idea where they were at. I mean, they might, they know how much money hit the bank, but they have no idea where they were at. Maybe they could have saved some money on their taxes, but they don't know that because they didn't have any kind of financials prepared. And now again, they're trying to guess and figure out what things were from possibly a year and a half ago. If you're doing your accounting July of 2021 for last year, for 2020, how the heck are you gonna remember what something, some random purchase in February of 2020 was? That's over a year ago. It's, you're not, you're you're not gonna remember, you're gonna be guessing. So please, please, please commit to doing your accounting in a perfect world every single month. If you don't live in a perfect world because utopia doesn't exist and you can't commit to that yet, at the very least, do it once a quarter. So whether you're doing Excel, whether you're doing QuickBooks, RealtyZam, FreshBooks, Wave, whatever, at a minimum, do it every quarter. Um, All those platforms work great. Again, like I said, pick one you can commit to because that's going to be the biggest thing. If you say, I don't want to pay for QuickBooks, I'm going to do Excel right now, and then you don't do it, it does you no good. So if that's how you are because you're just busy or you just dread doing it because you hate doing your accounting, then pick one that makes it easier. Pay for Excel, or pay for QuickBooks. If you know that you can commit to sitting down once a month and you, you really are trying to watch every dollar that goes out right now and... Um, you're okay with it taking a little bit longer and doing it in Excel and you know you'll do it, great, do that for now. So whatever option you pick, please do it. 